Investing on Agriculture with Kristen Oaks White is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, It's What's for Dinner, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice. Welcome to Feasting on Agriculture. I'm Kristen Oaks White, and today we're in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. And we're serving up a culinary tradition rooted in the Santa Maria Valley, Santa Maria style barbecue with California beef. The Santa Maria Valley is home to thousands of acres of roaming cattle, luscious vineyards, and a century old culinary tradition. So today we have a real treat for you. We have the grill master himself, Mr. Kevin Merrill, here in Santa Barbara County. And you're a part of the Farm Bureau here, and you're so gracious every time that we come out here to welcome us with this Santa Maria style grill. And it has a rich history, and you are the expert on it, I have been told. So you, you can tell us what makes this style of cooking so unique to this area and special. Well, what really makes it unique is it's, it's from generations of, of uh, cooking. It was first done by the uh, early Californians when they came, uh, the land grants. We had the huge ranchos here. And when they used to gather all the cattle on these huge ranches, they would get together and have a barbecue like this. And historically, they used to take, instead of putting on a grill like we see today, mm -hmm. they would take a rod. And in those early days, they would put it on like a willow rod and cook it over the flames that way and turning it. Today, our guys use metal rods. They call rotting the meat. And they'll put a big rod through there and cook it that way. But the real secret is, are, are the ingredients. One is just salt, pepper, and garlic, and the red oak that we get here, you'll see around the, the Santa Barbara County, uh -huh. is special to this, and that's what infuses that special flavor into this meat. Now tell me about the red egg. What, what makes the red egg so much better than mesquite or hickory? Or... Well, it's just the flavor it infuses in there. It's nice, dense wood. Uh, we have a lot of it here in the county, and um, it really adds a nice flavor to the meat. The cuts of meat, I think, are probably a big part of it too, right? So well, usually they, they love to use top sirloin. This is the whole, uh, they call it top block. So it's a block of nice, fresh top sirloin steak. And they do a great job of it. So it's one big piece of sirloin. Mm -hmm. And then put it on there. And it takes probably an hour, an hour and a half um, to, or so to, to cook. That They monitor it and keep adding wood as they need it. But an hour and a half to two hours. Is there something about the height that it's sitting above the fire? Well, they, they, and they keep their eye on that. So whether they're rotting it or they use the grate, they can adjust that grill up and down and, ah. and make it match whatever the, the heat of the fire is. Even President Ronald Reagan was an avid fan of Santa Maria style barbecues. Local chef Bob Herdman and his Los Compadres barbecue crew staged several barbecues for President Reagan, including five feasts on the south lawn of the White House. Is this, uh, is this one of your favorite ways to cook when you've got well, a lot of people? Well, it's the only way we do it here, really. You know, uh, I gotta admit, I have a gas barbecue, right? But if you wanna have a nice family barbecue, we always use red oak and we use, uh, you know, the top quality beef that hopefully comes from Santa Barbara County. Once the internal meat temperature reaches about 130 degrees, they remove it from the grill to rest for about 15 minutes before slicing. Louisiana Farm Bureau members arrive just in time to sample some of the wine produced right here at Mesa Vineyard. Which wine do you suggest pairing with a great Santa Maria barbecue? Well, you know, for red meat, we like red wine. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know, there's several different varieties you can go to. Personally, uh, I think it's hard to beat a nice Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, although we do a tremendous job with Syrah down here in Santa Barbara County. Um, Pinot Noir, of course, is big. Santa Barbara County is known for its Pinot Noir. Uh, we have some of that. And then if you like white wine, we do Chardonnay. We don't like to fall into, you have to have red wine with red meat. In the wine business, we don't care what you like, we just want you to drink right. it, right? And so if you enjoy Chardonnay with a nice steak, hey, more power to you, and, and we're, we're glad to provide that to you from Santa Barbara County. Right here. Hi. Hi. Do you like the noir? I do. Right here, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. The beef is traditionally served with Santa Maria style salsa, salad, and paquito beans. 
we recruited Louisiana beef producer Robert Duncan as our official taste tester. And the final verdict? Perfection. Feasting on Agriculture with Kristen Oaks White was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. I'm telling you that Santa Maria barbecue was so delicious. I wish that we could bring some back to you at home in Louisiana, but you're in luck. We have a recipe for you on our website with pictures and more links at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, we have a very special Twyla boost from our trip to Santa Barbara. Stay with us.